All right, we're going to take a look at another example of some inexpensive outdoor gear. I previously did a video reviewing this camping cookware set from Light Take, and overall I was pretty impressed with it. It's a, it's a very inexpensive piece of equipment and um, not necessarily the highest quality, but uh, basically it's a set that comes with a, um, a little stove and a, uh, a pot and a pan. And I'm expecting this product to be pretty similar as far as what it offers. And the first thing that I want to say is that this is a cheap gear review. I realize, of course, that you could spend a lot more money and get something that's very high quality. The idea of these reviews is that there are some things out there that are very cheap alternatives to the really expensive stuff. But of course the question is, is it worth getting that kind of savings if you're not going to be getting good quality? And it always brings us back to the warning, you get what you pay for. So this product is the Biscier Camping Cookware Set. This can be found on Amazon. I think that may be the only place you can find it. I'm not familiar with the name Biscier, just as I wasn't familiar with the name Light Take on the other one, but uh, it seems to be a similar kind of thing. It's something that's made overseas. Uh, I haven't actually opened this. I'm going to open this for the first time on camera so I can really get a, a first impression of it. Uh, you can see the box. I don't know if you remember the one from the Light Take one, but it's a similar kind of a box. Uh, it's got some nice graphics on it. And on Amazon, this is currently selling for $25.99. Obviously that could change, that's just the current price. But one thing to mention about it is on Amazon it shows the product as being a 12 slash 16 piece set. And this one actually says it's 14 pieces. So it gets a little bit more specific on this. I'm not sure if they just count things different, like if they don't count the outer bag, or if they don't count the case that the stove comes in, stuff like that. Maybe it's just a matter of how you count it. But anyway, this one says it's a 14 piece set. Um, not a lot of information on here. Actually, this is uh, probably the most interesting information. It says it's small and compact, designed for one or two people. FDA approved anodized aluminum pot and frying pan make it non-stick. All the objects in this cooking set can be stored together in a nylon bag. Suitable for camping, hiking, backpacking, picnic, and other outdoor activities. Buy one Bisky or camping cookware set, you get everything that you need. The FDA approved thing is the thing I'm probably most interested in uh, because as much as I thought this set was pretty cool, because it's so cheap, um, there is that question of if it's actually safe because it has this like non-stick being anodized it has this non-stick quality to it and there were some comments about the video asking if it was something that was safe to use when you apply heat to it and I really don't know the answer to that. Anodized aluminum should be safe but you're getting something from China or Hong Kong or whatever and who knows. So this actually does say that it's FDA approved which makes me feel a little bit better. And as far as where it's made, it was made in China. And as I said, we're dealing with inexpensive stuff here. That's part of the reason for doing a review like this. Because if you're going to buy a $100 set by a well-known company, you don't really need a review. I mean, you know it's going to be high quality. You know you're going to be getting what you pay for. And in this case, we just want to see, well, just what we are getting for that money. And one other interesting thing, I did a little bit of research here. And there is a website listed, www.biscare.net. And that website is currently down. When I went to visit it, I got an error message. So that's... Not really a great sign, but they do seem to have a uh, Facebook page. Uh, I guess that's really all there is to mention about it. And now I'll actually go ahead and check it out. We have the little uh, spatula, or what they call it, a rice spoon. Oh, I didn't, didn't expect that. Okay, so we have this, uh, this pretty nice nylon outer bag. The other one came in a mesh bag. And it has Biscuit camping cookware set on it. Uh, outside of the bag, we do have this little um, plastic spoon. It's in its own little baggie here. And I believe the, uh, I believe it's a rice spoon, but it could be a spatula or whatever you need it for. And it also has this base for your stove. Make it a little bit more stable. That's kind of nice. And then inside the pouch, of course we have the pouch. That could be considered an item. Let's take off these bags so you can see a little bit better. It's kind of good to put those on there so at least you're not going to get this all scratched up. And here is what you see on Amazon in the picture. So first off we have this guess, fry pan. There's the handles that come out. And I believe these, uh, these do come in different colors. This one it does say it's green. I've seen them online in some uh, different colors. Black, um, red. And so as we're saying, there's definitely advantages and disadvantages to this, uh, how they make this. It's the anodized aluminum, so it's, it's very light, which is great for if you're backpacking, hiking, and you just need something that's light. And as far as cooking, 
the anodized aluminum is going to heat up really fast right where the flame is and it may make it kind of tough to uh, to do some cooking. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. So you have the fry pan and then you have, I'll just dump everything out of here so we can look at this. You have your pot. They both have these handles that fold out. Uh, one thing I wasn't expecting this, these handles are a little bit more hardy than the other ones. The ones on the other set, they're a little more dainty. Uh, what I kind of like about them though is that they they uh, cross over like this, so you have you know a pretty good handle to hold on to. This is just a different style. I mean, it, it still it still works fine. There's nothing wrong with that, and it, it does seem to be a little bit. Um, it's giving me a little bit more to hold on to actually. And of course, they uh, they have the plastic coating. The other ones have like a, a rubberized coating, and that's going to be important because this is going to um, take a lot of heat, and I'm sure even these handles will get pretty hot too. And then we have the cover. It fits right on there. Once again, very very light. I was kind of hoping it would have measurements inside uh, just because the uh, the light take one did. I don't know if you can see that but there's actually measurements in the uh, big pot. And this one does not have that but uh, that's, that's not a big deal. And let's see what else we have here. We have two little uh, plastic bowls. Uh, you're not going to get a lot of food in those but um, they're there. And then there's this, uh, I guess this is a ladle. It's actually pops out. It's a kind of a neat little thing. And you have a little loofah for cleaning. And you have this carabiner, which is actually a matching color. It's a bit of a metallic green. <laughs> Not for climbing. It's probably a good thing to know because the quality probably won't be as high as something you'd use for climbing. But that, uh, that locks in place and you can put that on your nylon bag. And I guess this is what makes it a uh, 14 piece rather than 16 piece. Some of these they actually come with a fork, a spoon, and a knife. This one comes with a spork. I actually was expecting to get all three things. So it would have been kind of nice. But uh, basically this is a folding utensil. It uh, snaps into place and then you can slide this down to lock it so you can't unsnap it. So that's a this is a pretty cool thing on its own. I mean, even if I wasn't using the uh, the whole set, I'd be interested in uh, taking this, keeping this with me. And then the last thing is the stove, which does appear to be the exact same one as the uh, one that came with the Life Take set. Let's see. And this I did like. I did like the stove that came with the other one. This is probably this is one of the heaviest things in there. It's um, obviously you're not paying for a lot. But considering that, this was, um, I found it to be pretty reliable, not the highest quality. It's not like if you're going to get an $80 or $100 stove, you can expect a lot from that. Uh, but basically, you um, fold these four little, uh, little things out here, and then you can flip these over to put your pot on. And it has the uh, control here for the gas. And the piezo ignition, which I think you can see in the video. And that seems to be pretty reliable. And these are going to vary from stove to stove, I'm sure. But the other one I had, you actually had to push the uh, the ignition a little bit closer for it to actually work. All right, and here's everything that you're getting in this 14-piece camping cookware set from Biscuit. And you can see those 14 pieces includes the case that the stove comes in. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I think the last thing we'll do is test out the stove by boiling a little bit of water and maybe talk just a little bit more about the uh, relative value of this whole thing. And actually before we do that, since I did say one of the advantages of this was the fact that it's lightweight, I think we probably should weigh it. So I'm going to take everything that's in the set, including the mesh bag, and excluding the stove, and we're going to weigh that just in case you um, don't need the stove. And that's going to be just over one pound at one pound and 0.5 ounces or half an ounce or 468 grams. And then if we add the stove and the stand, that's going to raise it up to, and that's going to add just about five ounces, just over five ounces. Now it's one pound, 5.6 ounces or 21.6 ounces or 612 grams. So that's one other bit of information you can take into account when deciding whether this is something you could use or not. All right, we get the stove all set up. Basically, it just screws onto the uh, fuel canister. 
and the little um, fire maple uh, stand just kind of uh, clicks in as uh, for two different sizes. And you can decide for yourself whether you want to use this or not. I do find the uh, the canisters tend to be pretty stable on their own, but this does give it a little bit extra stability, and uh, especially if you're using like a large pot or if it's really windy or something. But then all we need to do is flip out the little feet here, and we'll go ahead and try this out for the first time. And of course, one advantage of the little electric igniter is that you don't have to worry about having matches or a, uh, a lighter with you. So let's see if this lights right away. We'll turn on the fuel on the side. And on the second click, that's not bad at all. And I'm going to heat up about 600 milliliters or just a little bit over 20 ounces of water. I think that's a, uh, a good amount for a test. And we'll see how long that takes to heat up. And I know that watched water never boils, but uh, just to check in, after about two minutes, and the bubbles in the bottom. Actually, let me see. Yeah, it's actually already hot. Alright, it's only been about three and a half minutes, and as you can see, this thing's going crazy. It's, uh, it's boiling very well. So it has no problem getting up to a boil, which isn't really a huge surprise. And uh, now I guess it's time for um, the final thoughts on this. I think overall I have to say, I think this uh, cook set is a, it's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good bargain for what you're paying for. Things to keep in mind, I think the, the main thing is that this is something that would be great for like a, a short hike or a, a short camping trip, something where you're not going too far and you're not really going to need to depend too much on your gear. If you're doing something bigger than that, like a through hike or something, you're probably going to want to get the real high quality expensive gear. I think this set would make for a great backup, but of course if you're packing light, you're not going to really be packing two sets of equipment. So I guess that's the overall thing to keep in mind as far as uh, price versus quality. Everything in here seems to be made well. The, uh, the stove, I was impressed that it, uh, it started up right away. Didn't give me any problems. I mean, obviously it was just a quick test of boiling some water. We didn't really cook anything. But that brings up the other thing, the main, main point I want to make about this. I think this set is great for somebody who is planning on going out and they might need to heat up some hot water to make coffee or cocoa. Or if they're cooking, if they're going to be using a lot of freeze-dried foods. This thing is great for heating up water. Uh, because of the anodized aluminum, which is great for its weight, it, it's, it's not so great for cooking. If you were out um, doing some kind of self-sufficient camping and you were like catching your own fish, probably not the best thing to cook it in just because it's going to heat up so much right where the, where the flame is. And it's going to make it kind of hard to, uh, to really cook something effectively. It heats up really fast and it won't retain the heat as opposed to uh, cast iron or some kind of a lighter iron that might be better for cooking. And that was what I noticed with the, uh, the light take. I tried to cook an egg in this one and it's a um, little tricky. The middle starts to burn almost right away and the uh, edges take a little bit longer to cook. So it, it is doable. You can cook with it as long as you keep the heat low and you really keep an eye on it. You really take a lot of care. And of course you have to decide what you want to bring. I mean you have 14 pieces in here. You might not need these little bowls. Uh, but, of course, they're also really lightweight, which is nice. And you might not need this ladle. I didn't even think to try this. If this had been soup. It works. It certainly works fine. But if you don't need some of this stuff, then it'll be even lighter carrying it. And two quick last things I want to mention. I had mentioned that the handles are different on this one than they were on the light take set that I had gotten. And I think I actually prefer the light take a little bit, just because, as I said, when you open it up, they kind of fold together like this, and then when you hold on to them, it, it really kind of like locks it in. This one, it just has a little bit more, more give to it this way. It's a, a minor problem. I mean, it's not really a big complaint, but if I had my choice, I would have rather seen it done like this, I think. If you want to call it a complaint, it's a very minor one. And then the last one is the uh, this apparently standard case that the stoves come in. It's a very lightweight, uh, not very durable plastic, little hole in the bottom, and I'm guessing that's to uh, for, so it can drain. But if that's a problem, if you want something that's going to be watertight, this isn't either through the seal here or through the bottom. So one quick suggestion I have is these Crystal Light drink mix packages. You just take the label off. It actually gives you a nice 
watertight container for whatever you need it for. And they do make these in different sizes. There's a smaller one, which I actually would recommend, but I don't happen to have any with me right now. But you can take your stove. And this one I actually packed with matches because I had some problems with the, the igniter. And as you can see, that fits fits in there nicely. If you had the, the smaller package, I think it goes up to about here, it really isn't much more room than one of these. A little bit more, but not too much more. And if you did, even if you have this size, you could put some other stuff in there. If you had some uh, condiments or some uh, paper products you wanted to keep dry. So just one little non-review related suggestion. And just as one final informational note, I said I had to use 600 milliliters or about 20 ounces of water for the boiling test. But as far as for actual capacity, I refilled the pot with 800 milliliters. And there's still a little bit more room at the top, but I think that's more or less the limit. You don't want to go too much more than that. So about 28 ounces or 800 milliliters. But that was a look at the Bisgear 14-piece camping cookware set. Thank you for watching.